And from the hard bondage. And from the hard bondage. We gotta work sun up to sun down. Some of us work nine to five. Some of us work 12 to 12. Hey, some people work 24 hours a day. We don't have no rest in this country. We should be ruling this world right now. That's right. But why are we in this low bottom, dirty state that we in right now? Why? Because we broke God's commandments. But it is a way we're gonna get to this point where God gonna give us ease. It's something we gotta do. What is the end goal? Because anytime we believe in something, there's an end goal, there's an end objective. So let me show you what the white man has never showed you out of the Bible. Because the white man don't really, his, when he gets an understanding of the Bible, he's trying to watch how much time before he gets destroyed. So watch this, where is the white man's destruction in the Bible? Because that is our hope, that's what our faith is in. We've been destroyed as a people. So what does the Bible say to the oppressed people? Get Luke 1 verse 68. We know. I'm going to show you. Because the justice that we're looking for as black men is in the Bible. Understand that. There is retribution. There is a recompense for all the hatred that we've received as a people. Understand that. And that's what the Bible talks about with salvation. Read. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So that's why we teach our people their nationality. You are Israelites. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. There are no other gods for any other nation. We're the only people who have a God. Read. For he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's going to redeem his people, not everybody. That cuts out John 3.16 and what they taught us in white man church. Read, Read on. And hath raised up an horn of salvation. So God has raised up a savior for us That's to great. redeem us. Read on. For us. In the house of his servant David, Read on. as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, Go ahead. which have been since the world began. So all the holy prophets that are written of in the Bible are our forefathers. That's right. This history is about us. Read right. on. That we should be saved from our enemies. Uh -huh. From our enemies. So the Bible talks about us being saved from our enemies. Talk about being saved in church. What are they saved from when they still strung out on drugs? When the pastor still sleeping with the women in the church? Where you got baby mamas, baby daddies all in the church? What are they saved from? The Bible talks about salvation being us saved from our enemies. Read on. And from the hand of all that hate us. That's salvation in the Bible. Now, what else does salvation look like? Get Isaiah 14. Is the Bible going to contradict itself? to receive that salvation. Read on. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to choose us even though we've been in the midst of sin. We've been in the midst of sin as a people, but at the end of the day, he's still going to choose his people. Right. Because his tender love and mercy is towards us, nobody else. Read on. And will and, and set them in their own land. Uh-oh. Do we own a lot of land here in America? They colonized us off of the land that we were already on. They stole us from the land that we made home. But God says in that day, he's going to set us in our own land that nobody else can deal with. It's going to belong to us and us only. Damn, that sounds good to me. Read on. And the strangers. Uh-oh. And the other people. Read on. Shall be joined with them. But how are they going to join us? Read on. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave to us. Why? You know, when, it, when they cleave to somebody, you, you're trying to hold on. Why will the other nations be trying to hold on to us in that day? We're going to be exalted above them. They're going to want the blessings that we're going to be receiving in the kingdom. That's what the Bible is talking about. But well, watch what your position going to be in the kingdom. Read on. And the people shall take them and bring oh, them. And the people of God shall take them, the strangers, read, and bring them to their place. They're going to be brought to the place with us. But what is going to be their job? Read on. And the house of Israel. And the house of Israel, which.
which are you brothers. You are men of the nation of Israel. What is the Bible talking about? The salvation you should be seeking. Read on. Shall possess them. Uh-oh, we're going to be owners of people in the kingdom. What did these people do to us for us to be the owners? Read on. Read out. Them in the land of the Lord. So in the land of the Lord, we will be rulers. We'll be owners of, uh, of possessions. Read on. For servants. So those other people will be our servants. Read on. And handmaids. And handmaids. They're going to wait on us. They're going to wait on us. So read on. Read the last one. This is the hymn. Oh. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. And they shall take them captives. We will take them as slaves. Whose captives they were. Damn, that sounds good. We didn't That's know that good. was in the Bible, did we? We didn't know that was in the Bible. As black men, we didn't know that was in the Bible as what salvation really is. When the Lord comes and rescues us from the hands of the enemies and all those that hate us, he's going to make us their rulers. But what is he requiring of us? Obedience. That's he requires of us to know who we are so that we can be obedient in the order that he gives us. Sorry. Last one, Revelation. Matter of fact, you bring that out. Revelation 13 and 9. There's some more left on that. Read that. Finish that all. There's some good stuff right here. And some they! Stuff. You ain't know this was in the Bible, did you? You ain't never heard this. This is the salvation of the Lord being awakened to your ears. Don't take this lightly. There's work for you to be doing. You understand that? Read. And they shall rule over the oppressors. We shall rule over our oppressors. That's right. So for all those hundreds, thousands of years, where we were beaten, mocked, ridiculed, oppressed, destroyed as a people, our household structure destroyed, our children's mind destroyed, now in the present, and they're trying to set up propaganda for the future. God says there's gonna be retribution for that in our obedience. Understand that, and we're going to rule over our oppressor. Keep talking about that justice. Read it to justice of the Lord. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give you rest from the sorrow. Yes, so God is going to give us rest from our sorrows, right? Because in this country, how we, we always scream whenever a black man, black woman, whenever our people get killed, what do we do? We go and march, right? We protest, yeah. right? no justice, no peace, right? All day long, ever since Martin Luther King, hey, Black history might about to come out next month. And now what are people gonna do? No justice, no peace, and swing back and forth. That's what we're gonna do every single year, right? We'll read that again. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. It is gonna be a day when God gonna give us rest from all the turmoil that we catch in this country. From all the hell that we catch in this country. But God is gonna save us in that day. Whoa, right? boy. Right? When the cops pull up behind you, right? Get out of Deuteronomy 28. Hold that. Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 65. 60, 60, 65. 65, right? Every time we go out, cops behind us, we get that little feeling in your stomach. Oh, man, dang. I hope the cops don't pull me over, right? And when you see them blue lights, you start sweating, right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 65. Oh. And among these nations, Shall thou find no rest? So among these nations, when we go in the world, we're not going to find no ease, no rest. Go ahead. Yeah, right. And among these nations, thou shalt find no ease. And no ease. We can't catch a break in this country. Why? Because no justice, no proper judgment is being executed. Yeah. Well, you understand what I'm saying? If we go to the court system, and we, matter of fact, if we get killed, for eating ice cream on our couch by a police officer and the police officer go to the court to be judged, they get off and get their hair stroke and get a Bible. Right That's what happens to the people that killed us. You understand what I'm saying? That's what happens. No proper justice happened to our people. We don't get judged correctly in this country. Bring it Why? Up. Because everything in this country is set up against us. But that's what God is putting that day is going to save us. Right, right? read on. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have
have rest. No matter where you go, you can go to New York, you can go to Mississippi, Columbia, St. George. It don't matter where you go. We're not going to have no rest. We're not going to have no ease. No matter where your feet go, go ahead. What the Lord shall give thee there, a trembling heart. God is going to give us a trembling heart. Whenever we in different situations with the cops, not even the cops, when we're around white people, right? We don't have no ease. We don't have no comfortability in this country. Why? Because everything is set up against us, right? And failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. What that mean? What do you think that means? Say it again. We gotta get for it. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. What do you think that means? I think it means like you're just gonna be sad all the time. Nothing you do. Every time you try to make it out or get ahead, you're just gonna be sad because everything just gonna fall apart. Okay, now we're gonna put some subjects in that, right? It says in these countries we're gonna have a feeling of heart and a trembling, right? What that means is whatever we try to do in this country, right? Like you said. Whenever we try to prosper, right? We always have oppositions against our people. And it comes from the governments of this country, right? The, the, the different uh, systems that set up against us to destroy us. Like what they call it, the school to prison pipeline. Yeah. The way the school system is set up is to give black men, Hispanic and Native American men and women directly to the prisons. That's how the school systems are set up. You understand what I'm saying? Everywhere we go, we're not going to have ease. That's what the Bible's saying. Go ahead. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee. You don't know if you're going to live or die in this country. Why? Because everything is geared to attack us. You understand? Right. Now, go back to uh, where we was. Read that. I'm saying chapter 14, verse 3. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. Right, so it's going to be a time and from that fear uh -huh. and from the hard bondage and from the hard bondage we gotta work sun up to sun down some of us work nine to five some of us work 12 to 12. hey some people work 24 hours a day we don't have no rest in this country we should be ruling this world right now That's right. right but why are we in this low bottom dirty state that we in right now why because we broke god's commandments but it is a way we're gonna get to this point where god gonna give us ease there's something we gotta do go ahead wherein thou was made to serve right we was made to serve that's it on that yes sir now go to deuteronomy 10 12. like you say you already know that you're an israelite right now there's something that you gotta do we can't just know it because believe me it's hundreds upon thousands of millions of people that know the israelites right but they don't do anything with that. But now that you're here, we can actually show you and help you get to that other side. Right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Uh -huh. oh. And now Israel. And now Israel. Right? That's you. Go ahead. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of you to do? Let's see. Read on. But to fear the Lord thy God. First, you have to fear God. Fearing God is meaning you not like scared of him, like, oh, I'm scared. No, what that means is you're afraid in the sense of what that means is you're afraid that if you do not do what he commands you to do, he's going to judge you. That's what the fear is, right? Go ahead. To walk in all his ways. To walk in all his ways. Go ahead. And to love him. Uh -huh. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Now, let's see, how do you do that, right? Go ahead. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. That's how you love God. We got about a million churches in this country, and they all say they love God. We got a million people in this country, and they say they love God. They know God, right? But 
In order to love God, you have to do what? Read that part again. To keep the commandments. You have to keep the commandments of God. Go ahead. Of the Lord huh? and his statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. That's what we have to do. That's how we're going to get proper justice in this country. Right. Because the only person that's going to save us, right, is Christ. That's the only man that's going to uh, execute true justice on this earth. Right. right. We can't go get our limitations. Limitations four. We can't go to these government officials. We can't go to politics. We can't go to the president. Right? We can't. Hey, I'm sorry to say some people. We can't go to the Black Panthers. We can't go to the NAACP. Right. Right. Out. Because the way they're structured is not geared to actually save us out of slavery. Right. All these different, <coughs> excuse me, all these different organizations is geared towards being subject to this country, to be equal with this country. Bring it up. But we got to get out of this uh, slavery. You understand what I'm saying? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 